Welcome to Farm RPG. Bellogan here. In this video, we are going to be talking all about pigs, and in conjunction with that, the feed mill as they go hand in hand. Pigs are pretty interesting. There's a lot to dig into with them as there's a fair amount of mechanics to understand how they work and where the profitability is gonna be in these and then understanding how much silver there's actually gonna bring in into you. So to start with the feed mill, there's an initial cost of 25 million silver to build this and you need to be level 60 farming to build it. Pig pen, you need to be level 70 in farming and it costs 50 million silver to build. So you may ask the question, should I build, should I wait to build the feed mill till the pig pen? And absolutely you can if you want, but you do get, remember that farm experience for building these. So 25 million farm experience for building the feed mill and 50 million for building the pig pen. So that alone may make it worth it to buy these if you've got the silver to, to throw into it just for the farming experience. Now the way feed mill works is when you grow crops, instead of selling these, you can throw these into the feed mill and they produce feed. It takes one minute per feed to produce and you can throw anything from watermelon up to broccoli in. The amount of feed they produce per crop depends on the crop. So watermelon as your base gives one feed, corn to up to broccoli at 24. Everything above broccoli, you can't throw in. Now feed you use to level up your pigs. So feeding a pig is similar to how you would pet chickens or cows. You feed them once per day. So there's a cap on pigs of 250. So if you're doing the math, 250 feed per day is the most you're going to need. So unlike the uh, flour mill where you can pump it full and, and let it run forever and then you can just sell it as soon as it comes out. With the feed mill, you've got a maximum you can use per day. And what happens is you end up hitting your inventory limit and then it just pauses until you use 250 feed and then it'll it'll go through uh and cycle through that again just to give you a really quick look if i come into my farm i'm growing wheat right now i can come down to my feed mill i've got over 6,000 feed waiting to get processed but it's paused because i've hit my inventory limit of how much feed i can have uh 1,665 currently per today if i had crops i'd throw them in here generally what i'm throwing in here at this point i threw in a lot of the corn and pumpkins i was growing for the halloween event mostly now i'm just throwing in crops that my pets bring back um, that i didn't actually grow but you can figure out how much time you'd need to grow the crops to keep this thing filled up obviously at 60 90 units waiting to get processed taking 250 a day i've got feed stacked up for a very long time i really don't need to throw anything here for a while to to make use of it all right pig pen so the pig pen you purchase for 50 million puts a pig pen in and then you buy pigs the same way that you would buy chickens and cows it starts at 250 and then it goes up an extra 250 for every additional pig that you buy up to having 250 of them now when your pig hits level five you can send it to the slaughterhouse to be turned into bacon. Bacon has been buffed a little bit from the past. It is now worth 5,000 silver instead of 2,500. The amount that you get uh, does scale with pig level. So starting at level five, you'll get 25 bacon per pig that you slaughter. Each additional level gives you 10 more bacon. The amount of time it takes to level up, um, 12 days if you don't have the animal level perk, it only takes eight if you do, according to the, the numbers. So this raises a lot of questions. How much are pigs actually worth? How many do I want to buy? How much money am I going to make off of these? So we're going to go to our trusty spreadsheets as usual. I've got several different things in this spreadsheet. This is the last page of my spreadsheet that is linked in community guides if you want to look at it. On the left, I have the pig number, what the cost is going to be. These are half the amount of cows. So if I come out, well, let's go the way past 182 there. Your 250th pig is going to cost you 62,000, 62,500 silver to buy. Starting at 250. So the first thing we did is an analysis on which crops are the best to grow for feed to have the minimal cost. So we have watermelon through broccoli. We have the grow time in hours. Now I'm assuming you have all of your quick farming perks on here and that just shows the minimum grow time for those. So 0.4 of an hour, 0.8 of an hour for corn uh, and so forth. We take the number of feed you get for those and they all come out to where you get two and a half feed per hour. Regardless of which crop you're growing per hour, you're gonna get the same. Um, so if you can stay on top of it, there's not a reason to grow broccoli over a watermelon, for example, as far as how much time it's gonna take you to get that 250 feed per day. But there is a difference in the cost of the seeds. So per feed, it turns out watermelon has the lowest cost per seed at 1,400. All right, next we do an analysis of the pigs. 
um, from level zero, I, I mocked up through level 10. This is the experience levels to hit each of those levels. So without Animal Lover, when you feed a pig, it gets a thousand experience per day. With it, it's a thousand five hundred. So you just take the experience value, divide it by fifteen hundred, take the next up from there. So eight days to get to level five. I think on alpha or in beta, it was saying it would be about nine days, but you do the math, it's eight is actually how many it's going to get there. So we can also take that and figure out how much feed it's going to take you to get the pig to that level. So eight feed to get a pig to level five. So you can take your eight times the cost per feed and you know how much Silver and feed is gonna cost you to get the pig to that level. We have the amount of bacon that's sold when the pig is slaughtered. So 25 at level five, 35, 45, 55, and so forth. We have your bacon uh, value total. So that's just this number times the 5,000 per bacon. So 125,000, 175,000, and so forth. And you have your profit for cost. So in this, we are only looking at the cost of feed. We are not factoring out the cost of the pig yet. We're gonna do that analysis next. Per pig, it turns out you're going to make the most profit per cost. Some of these numbers in here aren't right, um, but at level five uh, is where you want to do that at. Or sorry, no, you do get more profit per pig per cost at the higher levels. But what we're looking at here is the profit per day and profit per day works out to be getting the most at level five. So your optimized time to be slaughtering your pigs is as soon as they hit level five. There's some other reasons for that as well, dealing with inventory cap. So even though you can get um, more silver per pig per your investment if you wait longer, just because it takes the pig that much longer to get those levels, it's better to slaughter them at level five. All right, now is where things get a little more complicated. You have to take into account your inventory limit when you slaughter your pigs. If I were to slaughter 100 pigs and get 25 bacon each, you're going to be getting a crap ton of bacon, right? So you take 25 times 100 pigs, and that's going to give you 2,500 bacon. Most players in the game, myself included, not everyone, but most players in the game don't have that much inventory space, let alone enough for all 250 pigs. So you want to space this out so that you're not overflowing your inventory. So basically, you want to take your inventory, say it's 800, divide that by 25, you get 32. You would want to do at most 32 pigs a day before you send them off to um, get slaughtered. In which case, you're going to buy, when you're first starting out, you'll buy 32 the first day, buy 32 the next day, until you hit that cap of 250. Now, you might just say, well, if it takes eight days, why don't I just space it out over that and every day do 31 pigs um, or 30 pigs or something like that? Uh, and you can do that. Um, but it turns Turns out because of the cost of pigs and that because the increase for every new pig you have, it works out to where you're making more money total if you do as many as you can at once. So, and the reason for that is if I've got 250 pigs and I send 10 off to slaughter, the next day I've got to buy pig number 240 through 250. If I were to do 20 pigs instead, I would be then buying back pig 230 through 250, which has a lower cost per Pig. So I've picked just a couple data points on here. I've got one if I were to do 21 pigs at a time. I've got one if I do 30 pigs at a time. And then I've got one if I do 66 pigs. I did 66 pigs because it worked out close to what I needed for my inventory. And that's what I initially set up doing. So we have the total cost to replace those 21 pigs. If you do 21 at a time, it's 1.3 million silver. If you do 30 pigs, so a little bit higher than that, it's 1.8 million. If you're doing 66 pigs, it's 3.6 million to replace all of those. I have the profit for those pigs. So that's just the number of pigs times the, the profit value. And it's 1.16 million silver for um, 21 pigs, 4.1 for 66, and 1.7 for 30 pigs. So you can see the more that you do at once, and then we, what we did is I broke that out in this column by how much actual profit you're getting per pig after you paid for the pig. So at 21 pigs, you're making 55K silver roughly per pig. At 30 pigs per day, you're making roughly, roughly 57K per pig. At 66 pigs, you're making roughly just about 63K silver per pig. So the more you can do at once, the more profit bill that goes up. And to figure out how much you're actually making off of it, um, regardless of how many you're doing, the fastest you can do this is 250 pigs every eight days. So if we just take 250 divided by eight times the profit per pig, it's going to tell you how much silver you're making on average per day. Not that it's going to come in every day that much. It's going to come in the chunks when you sell these off. But uh, at 21 pigs per day, it's 1.7 million silver. At 66 per day, it's 1.9 million silver per day day. So that's roughly how much pigs are. So you'll notice this is less than slaughterhouse with cows. Um, it is less than what you can get from the bank. It's less than you can get from uh, wine. But the startup time is, is, is a lot quicker. Only eight days from when you make your initial investment till you start getting money back out. So it does turn around a little bit quicker. Now granted, you got to be level 70, so you can't start on this till later in the game. At that point in the game, uh, your 75 million silver startup 
cost. It's still pretty expensive, but not not completely unreasonable. Late game, it's it's pocket change. Um, you don't even even sneeze at 75 million silver. But if you didn't have any other sources of income, this is how long it'd take you to recoup. So if you're doing 21 pigs a day to recoup that 75 million silver that you're initially spending, again, to build both the feed mill and the farmhouse, it's going to take you 44 days. Um, with 66 pigs, it's going to take you 39 days. So it will take a while to recuperate your costs on these. Um, but after a month and a half or so, then it's purely profit after that with a little bit of work involved because you do have to grow the feed and you have to feed your pigs every day. And then when they're level five, you have to send them to slaughter and then you sell the bacon afterwards. So as far as animals go, they're the most involved with the most steps. They're the least profitable compared to um, cows, maybe chickens are a little bit better than I don't have a direct analysis of that pulled up. I think the story at the end of the day for pigs is later in the game when you can afford it, it's another great source of income that has some work, but not a ridiculous amount. So for the most part, except for when you're sending pigs to slaughter, it's a simple click. Um, there's potentially going to be a slaughter all button getting implemented. There's some uh, discussion about how to do that because pigs, when they're optimized, you want to do level five, so you can send all of them. Whereas cows, you want to do it at level eight, but you only want to send the level eight, not the ones that are seven, six, and five when you hit that button. So there's some discussion going on as to if and how that's going to get implemented. Uh, but there you have it. Uh, it's just another source of income. You know, another 1.5 to 2 million per day is uh, not huge. It's not going to make a huge drop in the bucket, but it's something else just to add in. And, you know, every drop does does eventually add up when you've got all these separate sources of income adding silver to the game. So there you have it. Uh, unless pigs get changed and something else is added. I was teasing Firestream saying they should drop pork chops in addition to bacon. <laughs> I don't know if that'll happen. Uh, if it does, we'll redo this video. But as is, the way the pigs are in beta and the way I expect them to get released, this is how it works. Hopefully this was educational for you all. Thank you for watching.